Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? That's what you want to know. Well, this is the Pathos Mall roundabout, and as you can see, it's pretty busy. There's Mercedes absolutely everywhere. What's going on in this world? I'm gonna have to get something like a Lexus. Much better car, by the way. If I was a clever man, I would go and get one, wouldn't I? And I know two very, very clever people indeed. And of course, one of them is the greatest lawyer in downtown Paphos, and she's a star, Miss Anna Star. And of course, her partner in crime, Mr. Thomas. They've got a Lexus each. How clever can you be? So I think next time I'm gonna buy a Lexus. Although next time they say they're gonna buy Mercedes. What's going on in the world? So clever people are gonna become stupid people. An idiot like me is gonna be trying to become clever and I may go out and buy one of those Lexuses. Because I do quite like them, to be honest. Anyway, where are we? Tomb of the King's Road, that's where we are. 10 o'clock in the morning, the sun slowly but surely is trying to come through. Plenty of people walking around with not that much clothes on, as you can see. So they understand that the sun is promising to come out. And you never know, we might get a spectacular day. I mean, to be honest, every day in downtown Cyprus is a spectacular day. Island of love. And it really is a little bit of a paradise. You get to do whatever you want. Wow, the light stayed on green because I was going through anyway, Miss Andrea. Anyway, where are we? Two of the Kings. You've got McDonald's in Lower Town Paphos coming up on our left-hand side. Bus station on our right-hand side. That's going to open up in about a month, so they've said. And uh, so is the one in the harbour. And so is the one in Uptown Paphos, the main terminal. So we'll keep you abreast of that. And when it opens, we'll go make a little video and uh, I'll try and edit them together, shall we say. So you don't have to watch three videos. You can watch it all in one. What's coming up here? Well, there's a surprise. There's the Greek themed restaurant. You've got a Chinese restaurant. And on the very, very end, you've got the King's Road Bar, isn't it? And that's where we met Mr. Martin and Miss Val last year. And they're coming back to Pathos next year. And uh, drop in the comments when you're here. Mr. Martin, of course, we'll mosey on down. Sit down and have a chat or two. But the sun is coming out, that's for sure. And if you're curious to know what the temperature is, perhaps if your name is Miss Dawn, you got a husband called Mr. Sean, you got a little cat called Miss Daisy, and of course a dog who is very, very clever indeed, called Bobo. The temperature is around about 21 degrees. So that's not bad at 10 o'clock in the morning, is it? That's not bad at all. Now, if you're wondering why I call that little dog called Bobo a very, very clever dog indeed, well, now and again, he pops into the back pocket of Mr. Sean and borrows his plastic friend and goes hunting us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. He clicks through to our About page and there he sees a little icon that says Buy Me A Coffee and he goes and buys us a coffee now and again. What a superstar of a dog he is. So if you'd like to join him and keep the channel afloat, keep popping the benzene in the tank to allow us to make these special, special videos for you. Please, please consider it, or please consider joining us as a superstar member where all the trouble is taken out of it and it just happens automatically for you on a monthly basis. And of course, we will continue to make these special, special videos for you. Pretty busy day in downtown Paphos as we start to exit on the tomb of the King's Road. Coming up over here to give you a few reference points, we've got the Alvalida Hotel. Of course, uh, Miss Izzy and Mr. Allen are going to come stay there very, very soon. Don't forget there's a bus stop right outside. Oh my goodness, we'll have to stop at these lights just in case because often there's a policeman parked up just further yonder. On our left-hand side, beachside luxury five-star hotel known as the Venus Beach. On here, what have you got over here? You've got a Cyprus house seller called Cyprus Real Estate. You've got killer prawns by Jimmy, haven't you? Yeah. One of these days, I'm going to pop in there and ask Mr. Jimmy to uh, execute one or two prawns for me. And I'm going to chump them all down with a bit of uh, curry sauce or something like that. Those look nice. I'm going to pop in there one of these days. That's for sure. Where else is on this part of the road? Little, little supermarket. There we go. So if you want a nice croissant, because they do make nice croissants in Little, or they do in Paphos anyway, I'm gonna pop in there later, I think. On the way back, I'm gonna pop in and get myself a croissant, because I'm on a bit of a diet, and I'm 
been banned from having these bacon legs because uh, I'm getting a bit, well, a bit fat, to be honest. I'm getting old and fat, so I've got to stop. Here we are. Red lights again. Miss Andrea, what's going on? What is going on? No traffic, nothing going on, but yet these traffic lights want to stop me. I think it's a conspiracy. That's what I think it is. I'm going to get on to that chap who's on the internet that got, I don't know, he's been arrested and all sorts, hasn't he? Don't even know what his name is. Alex something, isn't it? He's a bad chap. And he's made hundreds of millions of dollars out of telling people about conspiracies. So you never know. There's a conspiracy in downtown Paphos with red traffic lights against the man called Mr. Paul. Let's go round this roundabout and let's go back down the Tomb of the Kings Road Avenue so you get to see a little bit more of what's going on on uh, quite a pleasant morning to be honest because as you can see the sky it's well pretty blue the sea i promise you when i looked out the morning was pretty blue mr paul is dressed head to toe in blue as usual so all that's actually missing is you want to get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy because paphos and cyprus marika and myself are simply waiting for you all these people are rushing down to little you see because they've all heard that the croissants are to die for and they are, they really, really are. They've got a little bakery in there and they make nice fresh bread, nice croissants, nice donuts. And they also make hamburgers, but they don't look that nice to be honest, so I haven't tried one of those. I'll stick with McDonald's. So, not much traffic around though, because of course we're at that strange time of day, all the rush hour is gone. So if you're not, what's going on? Red lights again. Andrea, have you got a switch or something? I think Andrea's got a special switch and she sits there switching the lights to red especially for me. Anyway, talking about Dizzy Blonde, often she's trapped in downtown Manchester and she says gridlock traffic. Well, look at this, Miss Dizzy Blonde. This is what you call gridlock traffic. Look at it. Only joking. There we are. But we got potholes from hell, haven't we? Much, much worse than the potholes in Manchester. In fact, the potholes are so bad that sometimes I have to get out of the car and carry the car over the potholes. That's with reference to a picture that uh, Dame Anne sent me of a man carrying a Fiat Uno over some potholes. But unfortunately for me, I'm not that clever. I should have bought a Fiat Uno because they're much lighter, but I bought an S-Class Mercedes. So unfortunately, I'm gonna need the help of the boys, known as Double Trouble. Lord Jeremy and Lord Simon and perhaps between the three of us we can carry the car to safety anyway I'm gonna take a left here why because we're gonna work our way up to the rear end of the old town of Paphos and sorry but surely I'm gonna work my way up to the Atlas coffee shop because you never know Mr. Phil and Mr. Peter may be sitting there waiting and uh, praying that I don't turn up but guess what? I'm going to arrive, and if they're there, I'm going to buy them a coffee and have a chat with them, that's for sure. These are people who live all the way up in Kamara's village and uh, bumped into Mr. Phil. Time goes, doesn't it? A couple of weeks ago now, and we had a bit of a chin wag, a bit of a chat on the steps of Atlas Coffee. I was in a bit of a hurry on that day, but uh, next time I promise him we bump into each other, we'll sit and have a chat. And uh, hopefully he brings the seater with him, and we can have a chat about where we go and pay our telephone bill. Sorry for pronouncing pronouncing your name wrong, but as people understand, my pronunciation is completely and utterly Sherlock Holmes. And if you're new to the channel and you're wondering why does he keep saying Sherlock Holmes, Sherlock Holmes is the words that we use instead of the word S-H-I-T. Goes back a long way. It was an invention, a creation of Miss Oshin with C.D. Moose. That's my partner in crime, Marika, who, as you've noticed, is back on our screens. It makes the channel so much better, I understand that. The star of the show has arrived. And if you, want to, well, if you want to bump into us, we're quite easy to find. I'm an idiot with a blue hat on and a pair of sunglasses. And uh, I always have a blonde beauty to the right-hand side of me. So we stand out ever so slightly when we uh, are strutting our stuff down the Cater Papos Promenade and Harbour area. And of course, when we're trying to storm the front entrance of most hotels. So it's giving us trouble because some of the hotels are stopping us on the spot. But there we go. It's all part of the fun and games. 
Whoa, what was that for a pothole? Hey, Dizzy Blonde, the rear suspension's gone. There we are. It was just jumped off in one quite simple bite. So, here we are. We're coming up to the rear end of the old town. This is the temporary bus station on our right hand side. If you want one of the blue buses, that's the inner town buses, or if you want one of the green buses, which is out of town buses, they call them intercity buses. Although, in my opinion, I would say Paphos and so on are not cities, but that's what they call them. So, there we are. This is the ring road around the old town, and uh, there's quite a few people about because it's quite early. You know, a lot of people are serving breakfast, aren't they? And uh, sort of moseying on down, and these people, unfortunately, are leaving. There we are, and they've got their suitcases. They seem to be moving or moving a hotel or something like that. Great restaurant there, by the way. Very, very popular. In fact, they do a lunch special. So if you're in the old town, perhaps pop in there. You've got a great view out across towards the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. So this is now the road that, should we say, circumnavigates the outer extremities of the old town. And slowly but surely, it's going to take us up towards the back end of Clorica. We are then going to take a bit of a wiggle to the right and we're going to work our way to the rear of the area that I call hell. And it is still hell, even though some of the road has been opened, as you may have noticed. And we're going to work our way up towards the Masoi Avenue. And that's the road with all the big shops and the car dealerships on and so forth. So if you continue to watch the little channel known as Marika and Me, and you watch the drives with Mr. Paul, surely but surely, you will get to learn your way around the Paphos area, hopefully with a few bits of fun and hopefully with one or two little games. And now and again, we're going to go up the main central road, where if you remember, the little lady in red outran me, because of course she was being serenaded by Krista Burr. So if you've watched that video, and of course Miss Karen, all the way from Scotland, she's watched that video, because uh, she understood that the lady in red was going to win, and of course... I'm pretty sure Mr. Aaron was sitting there as well as he was chumping on his bubblegum ice cream thinking, yep, she's going to win. Yep, she's going to win. Have you got any more ice cream, Mr. Paul? So, those are some superstars who came to Paphos and they accosted us on the downtown kit of Paphos promenade. And of course, we haven't forgot Mr. Ian, but he just kept himself to himself. So, good morning to you, Mr. Ian. Good morning, Miss Karen. And good morning, the superstar, Mr. Aaron. Hopefully you're going to have a great, great day up in Bonnie, Scotland, and hopefully the sun is coming out. And while we're on the subject of Scotland, there's three other superstars are living up there. My cousin King James, his queen, Queen Corrine, and of course the one and only absolute superstar. The greatest young lady up in Scotland, the girl who is waiting to come to Paphos, the girl that is waiting to chuchuchka dance her way down the Cade of Paphos promenade while she eats a cheesecake flavoured cupcake. And of course her name is Princess Darley. Good morning Princess Darley. Hope you're having a great, great day and we'll look forward to seeing you very, very soon indeed. I'm going to say thanks for watching and if you do like what you see, Want to hit the like, click the subscribe, and perhaps come back for a little bit more of my complete and utter madness. Technically now we are entering Clorica, and now, as I said, we are going to take a right, and we're going to head up towards the rear end. See the courtesy in this island, none whatsoever, is it? And even this one's probably not going to stop either. I'm going to stop being courteous when I drive, because I've noticed the more courteous that I get, the more uncourteous the other people get. So it's going to stop. And as for stopping at red traffic lights, Miss Andrea, not anymore. Here we are. We're in the back streets. If you want some Mercedes parts, by the way, on the left-hand side, there, that's it. That's the greatest Mercedes parts supplier in the whole of Paphos, Mr. Anthony and his brother, Mr. George. Great, great friends of mine, because obviously I've got a Mercedes and we've got many, many customers who've got Mercedes. So I always go there. I find them to be the most competitive and they always have it. And that, of course, is a very, very important point, isn't it? Yeah. There's no point in having a parts supplier that doesn't have the parts. Anyway. Talking about Land Rovers the other night in the comments with Mr. Andy, he's got a Land Rover parts business in uh, well Shropshire, close to the Welsh border and close to the Shropshire border and the Staffordshire border as well. I think it is. Anyway, but he's he supplies all over the world, obviously. And uh, he was saying how he loves supplying parts to his customers, and I said I'll never buy a Land Rover because they break down. I 
of course, that's the reason why he's in the Land Rover business, because he's probably going to make an absolute fortune. I think he already has, to be honest. He's got plenty of money. There we are. Good morning to you, Mr. Andy, and a good morning to Miss Ness. And hopefully your tulips are surviving nicely and blossoming as the springtime comes out. I'm going to say thanks for watching, and of course, I'll see you again very, very soon. Lost somewhere in Paphos. But I know exactly where I am. If we go to the end of this road, little will be on our left hand side. So I'll leave the camera on just to prove that I do know exactly where I am. I even know all the potholes now, by the way. So it's absolutely awful, isn't it? The school there on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Let's just pop over this last speed bump. Then we join the main road, and on our left-hand side is the rear car park to the little uptown supermarket. And uh, we are going to take a left, and slowly but surely, we are going to come out at the lower part of the Masoy Avenue. What's this jam down? There we are. See, courtesy, respect for the drivers doesn't exist. Not in power force anyway. Thanks for watching. The rant is over. Can't even bother to change his rear light bulb, so I've only got one brake light. There we are. Thanks for watching, and that's the rant over, and we'll see you again very, very soon indeed. There we are, see, I told you. Lower Masoy Avenue. At the top, you never know. Mr. Phil may be waiting, but one thing is for sure, there's a very, very nice coffee in the Atlas Coffee Shop waiting with my name on it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.